video we're going to be fitting the under sun glass tank um, we've already welded up the subframe to go on so now we're going to get it mounted and welded to the underside of the vehicle and then we're going to give it a coat with some under seal just to prevent it from rusting and give the area a nice look so I'll show you that now on time lapse So we've got that all welded in, we've got it a good spray, it's all nice and neat under there now, it's just ready to bolt the tank up to. So we're going to get the tank underneath there, jack it up on a trolley jack, get the four bolts in, get them tightened up and then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, we've got an LPG tank in. From there it's just to run the fill point into the A pillar which I need to get a 70mm hole saw to do that. So, I'll show you some time lapse of that now, as it was a bit of a boy to film under there. So, I just time lapsed it. So, we'll catch you in a minute. So as you can see, we struggled to get the tank in there. Um, a bit of poor design on my behalf, really. Um, the last bolt to go in was in the most awkward place to get your hand to and the most awkward place to get a spanner to, so we struggled to do that, but it's, it's in now. I'll take you and show you it now that it's all in. So we'll catch you in a minute. So, as you can see, it's all in, it's all happy. I'm going to give the tank a coat with some under seal as well, where I've scratched it up, putting it in. But got the tank cover on, the uh, manifold cover on as well. All that's left to do now is to bring the fill point to here on the A pillar. So, we're going to get that done. 70mm hole saw, cut the hole in and I'll show you how we went about doing that. So now we're going to drill our hole for our fill point. I'm putting mine in the A-pill here, got a white cover to match so it all looks like an integral part of the van so it doesn't look like an afterthought, it all looks properly done professionally even though not professional. So I'm going to get some tape on this, just so in case it slips, doesn't scratch up the rest of the paint. And I'm going to get the hole drilled. So, let's get some tape on. Now, we want the hole to be just above this ridge line here. So, we want it to be above this ridge line here. So, I'm going to start it about where I want the edge of my hole to be.
Right. Now to drill the actual hole. nice hole in the side of the van. Tidy that up with our frown file. Then we've got to file two notches to match the two notches on this so when the bayonet fitting's in it doesn't just spin. So first we'll tidy this up and then we'll get these notches filed. notches are going to be either side like that get the old sharpie out and mark them Now to get a flat file, get them filed out. quite nicely now nothing could be the sicker flex around it won't sort out so now I'm gonna pull this masking tape off give it a clean around the hole and then we're gonna just treat the bare metal edge with some hammerite some hammerite smooth Sick flex around this, stick this on.
So there we go, that's on. Clean up around the edges. Get the back plate on now. So for this one, I'm not gonna be able to film putting the back plate on due to the fact that it's underneath the van and I've got to stick my hand through the A pillar to do it. So we'll catch up once I've done that. So there we go. That's the mounting part fitted. Now I'll see if I can get some video under the van. Now you can see, I think you can see, yep there's the mounting point. So you've got them six screws in the back that hold the actual mounting part in place and then you've got another four machine screws that actually hold the bayonet fitting into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make off the bayonet fitting part to the actual fill pipe. I'm going to make that off outside so we can get it nice and tight because there's no way I'm going to get spanners up there. Make that off in the vise on the, in the work van and then we're going to feed it all through. There's a plate that goes behind, four machine screws through into that threaded plate and that's what holds it all in place so we'll get that done now. And here's the tank under the van can see there's our subframe mounted up there nice and strong not going anywhere so got our pipe mated off to our bayonet fitting now what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed this through down through the a pillar of the van feed the backing plate up which is that backing plate there four machine screws through there into that plate which is threaded and that secures it in place and we feed this boot up the back that slots over the back of this keeping it all nice and tidy so let's try and get this through So that's now through, hoses at the bottom. So we'll get this into place, get the backing plate on. Hopefully we can get the screws on and tighten it up on my own. There we go, that's now popped into place. So now we get our backing plate, feed that up the hose, and hopefully 
being on my own. I can get this held one side, wet, maybe wedge it with something, get the machine screws in, hold it into place. So there we go, got it all attached now, one clip out, there you go, there's our fill point. So all that's left to do now is run it underneath the van and then onto the tank itself. So we've got the gas tank all done now, so this is the end of the video. Um, all we've got to do now is tag up that pipe so it's out the way, route it properly and then if I can find it this piece of foam goes up and is the under seal for the A pillar so I've just got to cut a hole in this for the pipe to come out of And then we're done so we will leave you there as always give us a comment thumbs up ring the little bell subscribe if you like what we're doing and um, we'll catch you in next week's episode which will probably be putting the floor in Ooh. possibly don't know yet but probably put the floor in but I'm well happy with that on the A pillar. I think it looks mint there. Looks very standard. Not like it's just dangling down off the van. Shut the door. Anything else to add? No. See you next week. <laughs>